In tonight's Made in Acadiana, one month after a devastating flood forced it to close down, a downtown Lafayette restaurant that's well known for barbecue gumbo and boudin, boudin is ready to reopen. News 15 Scott Brazda takes us inside the remodeled Johnson's Boucanier. Okay, today's Made in Acadiana, one of my favorite eateries uh, in the downtown area, St. John. Johnson's Boucanier, Johnson's Boucanier, become a staple for folks in the downtown area, the university area. Lori Walls joins me now, and Lori's the co-owner. Good to see you as always. Good to see you. Thank you. So, Miss Walls, about a month ago, what happened here at Johnson's Boucanier? Well, it was a Monday afternoon. I came to make sure everything was locked up and set the alarm, opened the door, and there was about a half inch of water greeting me. And I just panicked, and I could hear water running. There was water all along the floor, water streaming down. This light fixture had water streaming through it. There was water everywhere. <laughs> so, Laura, I mean, what, what are you feeling? At first, just panic of what might have happened, and then, you know, realizing, okay, everything happens for a reason. Give me the highlights or the lowlights of the damage. Like when she called me, she said, we have an issue. There's water all over the floor, water coming out of the ceiling. Unfortunately, a lot of the walls, most of the ceiling was damaged. All the floors was damaged. All right, Greg, we've talked about the damage now. Johnson's Buccaneer 2.0. What are you guys doing? <laughs> what have you improved upon, renovated, added? And basically, we just pretty much put everything back the way it was on the interior. You know, recently we have a new concrete surface parking lot. Because of all the land that we have is providing some activities outdoors yeah, and, and utilize the land a little bit better. Lori's worked really hard for 16 years pro providing a great food product yeah. but now I think you know as far as you know the building goes and the land goes it's it's 2.0 is providing uh, that atmosphere that's conducive to activities. And so we've talked about the bad and the good now the even gooder better. Johnson's Buccaneer 2.0 on Wednesday what happens? Well, the first plate lunch that we offered back in 2008 was sausage and smothered potatoes, and it came with two sides. It was $6.25 back and? then, and that's what we're going to go with this Wednesday. All right. Johnson's Buccaneer back in business this Wednesday. A month after the deluge, Johnson's Buccaneer is back. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. All right. With Lori and Scott and videographer Alex Folks, News 15 at Johnson's Buccaneer.